Hey, it's me, Team Farrell, back from 3 Your Skill with another small update for the DM Measure tool for Cinema 4D. With that tool, you can plug in, you can uh, measure and visualize the measurements of the Measure and Construct tool in Cinema 4D. Um, yeah, for all purchases who already uh, purchased the plugin, you will get uh, the update for free, of course. You will get a circular email or simply download it via your purchasing. Um, 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 link you got via email and so forth. Um, yeah, let's have a look to this figure here. Um, that's a small overview for of all the um, up, uh, updates functionalities. Um, first of all, a bug where was fixed um, in terms of cache optimization. Yeah, in previous version it was slowing down rep uh, extremely the the frame rate especially on weaker CPUs or uh, uh, laptops, notebooks and so forth. So this is now fixed, you will get a good frame rate back. Um, the next thing, I added a new button, hide all show, I show this in the tutorial. Um, then a new solo unsolo button for the measure object and a new solo unsolo button for the measurement. Uh, in each measurement you create it and also a new measure tool button in every measurement you create it. So yeah. So let's jump over to Cinema 4D and uh, let's quickly explain how to install the plugin. So when you downloaded the plugin, you will end up with a zip file. If you unpack the zip file, you will get a folder. And in this folder are two folders um, uh, for different versions of Cinema 4D. Please copy this folder, which is corresponding to your Cinema 4D uh, version um, into this app data roaming and into this plugin folder, simply copy and paste it, and that's it. Or simply choose your own plugin folder if you if you have a different plugin folder. But please avoid it to uh, copy it into this um, program files, Max Home Cinema 4D plugins folder, so you don't have uh, writing permissions and so forth. So better is to use this plugin folder. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, let's have a quickly a quick explanation of the new functionalities. I have here cube activated snapping, call my plugin. And as you can see here is a new button, hide all, show all, I explain later. First of all, I create a new measure and simply instantly can um, measure here. The red distance is this measure which the uh, measure, the measure tool needs to measure. And this uh, second, this, uh, Second distance is the uh, gives you the plane, so the measure the measure can make a perpendicular uh, axis. Okay, I pull this out very quickly, and now I add another measurement. And as you can see, when I want to snap here, so I I will get problems. I can't snap exactly to the cube's point. Either I I, I zoom in and choose this thing, but if I zoomed out, I maybe the, the first measurement is blocking. So this is why I added here this solo unsolo button for this measure object, so I can first solo just this current uh, measurement, measure object, and solo unsolo the measurement itself. So now I can snap here exactly to the point and I press solo unsolo again, and I will get back the measurements. So I make a next measurement, the same process here. I solo unsolo and make a measurement here, so forth. And now uh, bring back all the measurements. And here's the new functionality hide all and show all. I simply press this. As you can see, it hides all the measure object. It's a little bit confusing sometimes in the viewport when you have a lot of measurements, you don't want to see them, simply hide or show all. Sometimes you have to click twice when the solo unsolo is here. I have to click twice. Yeah. <clears throat> and also maybe if I call in previous version, this was the measure tool, I call the measure tool, but now I have to manually select here the measurement I want to work, or maybe the first measurement was this. Yeah, I have to select this. But if this is on this measurement and I want to 
work on my first measurement, I have now this new button here, measure tool. It instantly selects the, the measure construct tool and all also selects the right measurement. So you can directly begin here to um, measure. So you don't have to go into the measure tool, then select it. So you can directly begin here to measure by pressing this button. That are all the new functionalities for the plugin. I hope you had fun and yeah, stay tuned with 3 d Skill and have a nice day.